Fuck you! Welcome everyone to Mega Man Legacy. Also, fuck Capcom. So, what I'm gonna do with this is play every single one of the Mega Man games. As you can see, all of them. And yeah, there is my ID. Pretty much the game already did me a favor of presenting myself. Oh, look! A buttload of languages. I'm gonna keep it in English, but I just have to show this one. What do these have characters? I'm basically gonna mess around with them for now. Oh, you can play with both iterations. That's like you're interesting. Okay. Controllers. And then one plus the light. What? Yeah. I don't know why I want an auto fire. Yeah, I'd rather have it like this. As far as I know, Star has always been a thing, so yeah. Okay. So, for... That's pretty much... I only, I have only played these three games. I played the original Mega Man on Power Up. And it was... Pretty good actually, it's fucking brutal. I do know that, it's pretty hard. Not as hard as any games I've played actually. But it's been quite a while since I've played it. So yeah. The powered up iteration, I don't mean the new style, oh no. I mean the old style that it, the game had as an option. You can play the original Mega Man with those graphics and so on. It's pretty loyal, I think. I haven't played the original version though, so I can't say. Also, you know what's funny? This doesn't have any of the Japan of the American colors. <laughs> Damn it, were those largely atrocious? If you remember this one and this one in particular, uh, <laughs> yeah. Also, the logo is different. This one was a bit more spot on, but nah, the, the face still had some issues. Then comes this one that actually does do things right, same as these two. Actually, Mega Man 6 shows the rush adapter that gets added on it. There is also, oh well, yeah, Mega Man 1 and 2, Mega Man has nothing. It's pretty much playing Mega Man 9 and Mega Man 10. Of which I'd rather not talk about. 10 is horrible. It's a really bad Mega Man game. It's a very generic Mega Man game, rather. Not necessarily bad, but you get what I'm trying to say. I hear that Mega Man 4 is pretty eh as well. And this one kind of revitalizes. This one is the one I'm not really certain of. And also regarding something else, what's this? Oh yeah, this game also has a remix mode. Complete challenges. I don't know if I'll show this or not, maybe not. That depends. But, yeah. Just... Whoa, man. Five minutes to beat a boss that is basically super annoying. Mecha Dragon is isn't so bad actually if you know what you're doing thing is it has way too much it gives you a lot of knockback yes these games are from the classic NES era in other words knockback 
And another shenanigans. Also, unlike later versions of Mega Man that include bolts and that kind of stuff, these don't. Oh no. What you see is what you get. Also, 1 and 2 do not have energy tanks. 3 onwards do. That's not entirely bad. It's, it has its own thing. But yeah. The lack of tanks wouldn't appear until Mega Man 8 and Mega Man in base again. But what fucking ever. We begin the series with Mega Man. And that's all for this episode. The game has done the favor of introducing myself for me, and it will now bid you farewell. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the title screen of Mega Man next time.